The Giggle Guru In the bustling town of Merrymead, there lived a boy named Max who was known far and wide as the Giggle Guru. Max had a laugh that could make even the grumpiest of grown-ups crack a smile, and his infectious giggles had the magical ability to turn ordinary moments into uproarious occasions. One sunny day, Max's school announced a talent show, and all the students were buzzing with excitement. Max, however, was facing a conundrum. He didn't sing like the birds, dance like the wind, or juggle like the circus clowns. But he did have something special, his laughter. Dad, I want to enter the talent show, Max announced with a determined expression. His dad raised an eyebrow. But Max, what's your talent? Max grinned mischievously. I'm going to make everyone laugh. On the day of the talent show, the auditorium was packed with eager parents, teachers, and fellow students. Max nervously clutched the microphone, his heart racing. As the spotlight illuminated him, he took a deep breath and let out a giggle so infectious that a few chuckles echoed in the audience. Hey, everyone! Max greeted with a twinkle in his eye. I'm Max, and I'm here to make you laugh. With that, Max launched into a series of silly jokes, goofy faces, and witty quips. As he spoke, a wave of laughter spread through the crowd like a wildfire. Grown-ups were belly laughing, kids were snickering, and even the sternest teachers were seen wiping away tears of mirth. Max's act was a hit. The entire auditorium was filled with joy, and the energy was so contagious that everyone forgot their worries for a while. After the show, people approached Max, patting him on the back and praising his unique talent. Even the principal, who was known for his stern demeanor, had a grin plastered on his face. Max, you truly are the giggle guru, he exclaimed. As Max basked in the afterglow of his performance, he realized that making people laugh was a gift he could share with the world. It wasn't about being the best singer or the most skilled dancer, it was about spreading happiness and brightening someone's day. From then on, Max became Mary Mead's official giggle guru. He hosted laughter workshops, visited hospitals to bring cheer to patients, and even led giggle breaks during long meetings. People would seek him out whenever they needed a dose of joy, and Max was more than happy to oblige. And so, in the heart of Mary Mead, the boy who couldn't sing or dance became a legend as the Giggle Guru. His laughter reminded everyone that sometimes, all it takes to make the world a little brighter is a hearty laugh and a contagious giggle.